Kevin. So here we go. This one's called Stay Tuned, written by Paige Turner. Or Paige Turner. Ha, ha, ha. Michelle the Coon mentions, okay. I hope all my night crawlers feel as good as I do this evening. The fact that we have 317 people in chat is mind-boggling enough. But if you would have told me, if you would have told me we'd eventually hit 10,000 subs, 10,000 subs even a year ago, I wouldn't have believed it. That be, that being said, I wanted to offer a quick thank you to everyone and a new welcome to our big welcome to our newcomers. Thanks everyone for being here. Uh, it was also great to see a positive response to a story of a story of Stripe. It's been a long time since I was that nervous about a premiere, but with the encouragement from family and friends, I decided to take a chance. Over the next few months, I'll see if we can get another one up. Story the stories are doing really well. Um, as for tonight, it's time for our live Sunday classic. This week, I've modernized the Monkey Paw. It's one of my personal favorites, and I've had hundreds of requests. Would you like, would you make a wish with the paw? Let me know in the comments. Since everyone's eager to get started, here we go. That was a gunshot. What the? That was a gunshot, the woman screaming in a chair falling over. Amber! Footsteps running away with a dirt bike taking off. And dead air. Static. Several weeks later. Ice clinking. Kink, chink, chink, chink. For those of us who don't use Twitter, I'm sure you've been wondering just what the fuck. Me too. Oh, life is such a bitch, ain't she? To put, to put simply, Amber is dead. I'm now a widower. So, dips drink. Yep, those sounds were gunshots. Cameras, cameras recorded the whole goddamn thing. The shooter was a man, tall, leather motorcycle outfit. Huge black helmet with a visor. Said something about, I'll be back. Still ain't caught this son, bitch. I know what you're thinking, and Turner remains locked away, snug as a poisonous bug, but please check the writing. I... How these get ranked so high when the writing is so poor. But please are combing through her, her correspondence to see if she's involved. Apparently she has, been fo has a following of sickos who enjoyed her work. Had I known sharing my story would get her famous, I'd never, not for a million subs, not ever, but for two million. Maybe. Fucking bitch, pours drink. Look, look, look. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I'm off the wagon. The wagon's fucking dead. What? He's drinking again? After his... Partner got murdered. What? What? Chugs. Of the very large cup of liquor. I don't know when I'll post what, but since the boys are staying with my sister, I got drunk enough to tell you what happened last night. Yeah, cause I'm and no one sub why I'm doing this, cause you know that million subs thing. I was totally serious about. I'd never like tell this story that I'm telling right now for a million subs. But for 1500 or, or, you know, if you guys want to send me some, like, you know, underwear or something, that'd be awesome. Um, um, uh, you'll, you'll remember the kids were visiting my parents in Florida. Thank goodness. Thank, thank goodness they weren't here. Because that would have just added to the story. It made it all the more traumatic and more marketable. Ren mentions, did I come back to a gag reflex? That's a gag reflex, Ren. They're very different sounds. That's when you put something way too deep in your throat. Michelle the Cune mentions, nope, creepy pasta. Amber was downstairs with a glass of wine in a movie. Watching the movie and drinking the wine in case anyone had questions in the audience or the people who are a little slow. Waiting me for to finish waiting for me to finish I see. that stream. I see. The bastard walked his bike down the driveway, opened fire into the front door of the house, then drove away. Monsters are real. And that's with a capital M, everyone. Capital M. Monsters. They're real. Never doubt it. Eddie was in the upstairs hall hallway, outside, waiting outside my door, and judging by the empty wine glass, we think Amper was probably going for a refill when it happened, because she was just a drunk slut all the time. Oh, wait, did I say it out loud? I meant, no, she was, she was thirsty. Amber was thirsty. She was so thirsty. Online constantly. 
The bullet tore through her chest and she bled onto the floor right in front of me. I don't know, but I, because I I teleported from upstairs where I was streaming to downstairs where she was dying instantly. The blood just took so long to come out of her chest. It was so thick. It was like ketchup. You know, ketchup, when you leave it out for like a week and it starts to grow the bacteria that everybody thinks doesn't grow in ketchup, but does grow in ketchup when you don't refrigerate ketchup. Then people eat it and they get sick and they blame it on the food, not the ketchup, because the ketchup still tastes the same. Yeah, that, that kind of thick. Everything is a blur after that. I don't think I could remember it if I tried. Ren mentions, wait, is that a thing? <laughs> it's creepypasta, Ren. You decide. Orchid mentions, yeah. You decide. Everything is a blur to me after that. I don't think I could remember if I tried. It's not like I was sober for any of it. Because, you know, I was on the wagon then. But now I'm off the wagon. But I wasn't sober when I was on the wagon. So what the fuck does off the wagon even mean, really, when you think about it? This wagon concept? I don't really understand what it means, but I threw it in the story here because I thought you guys could relate. Yeah, just threw it in there. Because the wagon thing sounded good. I'm off the fucking wagon, I said earlier. Remember that? Remember that? That was the creepy part of the story, that there even was a wagon. What wagon? Really, what wagon? Telling the boys is the worst thing I'll ever do in my life, other than getting back on that wagon. And then the funeral. God, the funeral was beyond anything I can ever imagine. Up giving up alcohol. We all must endure planning a loved one's funeral at some point, but I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. So many tedious details. So much alcohol. None of that matters anymore, though. Because I'm alone making money selling subscriptions by telling this story on the internet. Do you all hear? I'm glad you're here. The sub button's in the bottom right down there. If you're looking for it, there's a donation, donation button below also. So feel free. It's a hard story to tell. Well, I'm going to tell it. I can make it for another three more subs. I need three more subs. Is, this, is there more subs coming for the story? No. Fine, I'll finish the story. Fine. Whatever. Have it your way. I'm on a first name basis with the police detectives Andy and Juan are running the investigation. They're good men, but I lost hope, lost hope of catching the prick early on. The dirt bike was abandoned in a parking lot across the state line, but yielded no tangible leads. I mean, it was a dirt bike, for God's sakes. Tangibility has nothing to do with it. I mean, who drives a dirt bike and gets away? It sounds like a fucking chainsaw coming down the road at 4 a.m. I mean, really, they're hard to track. Really hard to track. Now it's two weeks later, and we have no fingerprints, no DNA, no suspects, except for a dirt bike. With ass sweat all over it. But that'll never be investigated correctly. No one knows how to no one knows how to figure out how to get the DNA out of ass sweat. I've had that technology available to me for a decade. But the scientists all say I'm making it up. They say it's it's fake science, pseudoscience, they tell me. Ass sweat can't be analyzed for DNA. They're wrong. They're all wrong. Someday. After I get five more subs. I'll reveal the secrets of ass sweat. I'll happily spend the rest of my life in jail if I could just Michelle get my the hands on to mentions her. ass sweat iron mouse. Exactly. Ass sweat. Iron mouse a lot of iron mouse ass sweat. Yeah. Fuzzy ass sweat. I'm I'll happily spend the rest of my life in jail if I could just get my hands on Turner. But that'll never happen. Going to jail or getting my hands on Turner either. Bitch isn't even in the same state anymore, and I don't even know how to drive. How am I going to get across state lines? Right? If I only had 50 more subs, I could afford a car. Anybody? Anybody? No? Okay. I don't care what the cops do or don't find. She is involved. You guys see that, right? Did I tell you that her lawyer tried to contact me on her behalf? Said she wanted to apologize? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm such a drunk. Oh, I spilled my I spilled my drink now. Believe that I'm drunk and holding a glass a fragile glass full of liquid. What could go wrong, right? Damn it, Ed. Oh, well, that's it. Anyways, now, you know, I'm not sure when I'll be back, but I'll update on Twitter in a few days. If I get more subs, you remember where the sub button is and the donation buttons are there. I'll catch you later. And see.
few weeks later. Hello, Nightcrawlers. It's, I know it's early, but there are reasons for that. I've got subs. <laughs> Thank you for your unwavering support and patience. Your condolences and well wishes have been immeasurable comfort and have purchased me all the liquor I can drink for the last few weeks. Thank you. I'd best to do this during school hours. What? It's best to do this during school hours, for now at least. I wanted to be sober. And while I've been better since the boys came home, I still can't trust myself not to drink because I'm on the wagon. I have an update on the investigation. Lady Nopingham, made up name, obviously. And Lily Livers, second made up name, obviously. Spoke to a few friends, and now the online sleuthing community is investigating our case. And we know how good the online sleuthing community is. Do you remember that pipe bomb incident in Boston where they accused the wrong person and there was a raid on them? Yeah, that's Reddit. Go Reddit. These guys are A class, and each one has solved multiple murders. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Their channels are linked in the description. I hope you check them out. Subscribe to them too, because they're sponsoring this. And if they you don't sub to them, they don't sub to me. It's a big pyramid scheme. And you're at the bottom. Just pay your money and move on. Honestly, at first, I was upset. And the detectives were furious. You know how I feel about strangers poking around my personal life. I just, why have them poke around in my personal life when I could just share it all right here on the air? I mean, I watched the ketchup ooze out of my wife on the floor and talked about my children's grief on, on public radio. On public radio. Pub, ha, ha, ha. That was a different show. I was public radio. But that was... <laughs> that was back on AM 723. I remember that. Oh, God. The AM radio days. Oh. So many things I said and regret. At least it's not well recorded like the internet. Yeah. Anyway, oh, sorry. What was, I, what was I talking about again? Oh, I don't like people poking around in my personal life. Can you see the sincerity on my face? Yeah, right. Plus, I was certain they wouldn't find anything. Because there wasn't stuff to find, but I'd hit her pretty well. But then they did. There's a moment when the asshole tilts his head to reveal a small neck tattoo. But we didn't get a decent image. Sleuth scope Steve's. Steve could. After a few days on the internet, someone emailed a valid tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From the internet. Where all the best information comes from. Casey Devon and his girlfriend saw the same weird symbol on a busboy in Kalamazoo. Two people with the same tattoo. Lock them up. They were in a dive bar on the way home to Indiana and happened to see Steve's video the night before. What are the odds? Finally, something went our way. The detectives thanked Steve for his tip. But I still wanted him off the case. I, on the other hand, was sold. I welcome and thank their community from the bottom of my dead, shredded heart. Because, you know, your sympathy will get me more subs. So if you could sub below, you know, there's the button over here somewhere down there. There's a donation button over here. Yeah, you do that. It'll help my dead, shredded heart recover. Maybe. Will happiness get me more subs if I if I if I'm happy, will I get more subs? If I ask my dead wife to come on the show, will, she, will that help? No. Pictures? If I show pictures of my trauma? Is just talking about it not enough to any pictures? Would you like my wife's corpse? I can bring a picture from that. I, I have that. I've, I've hung on to it just in case, you know, viewership goes down. But I'm anyway, oh, sorry. Wait, wait, what? Wait, back to, oh, sorry. I'm telling a story here. I'm telling a story. Let me get back to it. Sorry. Um, yeah, I, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, my, my dead shredded heart. Yes, that was it. My renewed hope for catching this bastard has given me more than one reason to wake up in the morning. Juan, 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 Juan and Andy ran a background check on the man. Davy Richardson is a convicted felon who's worked at the Gorilla Grill for two years. You know what? Hiring convicted felons. I mean, right. Who would do that? You know, people have already served their time and are supposed to be forgiven for their crimes. We, we we certainly have to keep punishing them forever. You know, it, you come out of prison, you know, your record's wiped clean. Ha! Never. 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 The rest of their lives, they will be paying for that. We all know it. So, you know, 
we label them with convicting felons. Sorry. Um, is this a is this a political channel? No, as a creepy, creepy, you know, sorry, creepy pasta. Sorry. <laughs> yes. There's a convicted felon who worked at the Gorilla Girl for two years. He's obviously guilty. Obviously guilty because he's done something wrong in the past. They weren't eager to share more, but I did learn he did 10 years for armed robbery and sexual assault. Uh-huh. So he certainly did this drive-by shooting of my wife. Girlfriend, mistress. We don't really clarify whether that is. There was no apparent correspondence between him or Paige, but that doesn't mean anything. Even if they did exchange letters, he could still have done it because of her. Like some kind of psychotic tribute. Since his release, he hadn't caused trouble. His parole officer con considers him re rehabilitated. But the rest of the country doesn't. The rest of the world doesn't. I certainly don't. And nor should you. People watching my radio show. But I feel like this is the guy. I feel it in my bones. My dead, shredded, heart-laden bones. I think Eddie can sense it too. He's been in better spirits the last few days. His depression runs as deep as our own. Each night he crawls on her, on her side of the bed, often whimpering softly in his dreams, just like daddy. <laughs> we aren't ashamed of our man cuddles. The nights are lonely and cold and endless. Is, is this a... I'm thinking my story might be transitioning into an OnlyFans section here. Connor is still sleeping in the cot in Aiden's room. It's so hard to see them suffer. It's so hard. It's so hard to see them suffer. It's, it's where the dot, dot, dots are that really matter in some of these sentences. <laughs> They're having terrible nightmares, but nothing short of cuddles seems to help. Sorry, I have a hard time staying on point these days. The detectives interviewed Davey. He prattled off a worthless alibi, but it only took two hours to tear it apart. You know, under pressured interrogation, someone making up something just to get it to be over with. It's like waterboarding, you know, torture, that kind of stuff, how it always works. You know, because people just don't want to get out of the situation and will say whatever you need them to say. But yeah, he's totally guilty. He, at that point, they secured a search warrant. Unfortunately, no one was home. Like myself, you probably weren't surprised. But the plain clothed officers responsible for watching him were very surprised. Indeed, they were that day. They were so surprised. This is not a friendly neighborhood where civilians are eager to help police. The few who spoke only did so to further impede the investigation. One second. Character shift, one second. Uh, da, 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 da. This is not a friendly neighborhood where civilians are eager to help the police. The few who spoke only did so to further impede the investigation. That was three days ago. And no one has seen or heard from Davy since. In fact, we hadn't even heard of Davy in this story until seconds ago. So, who would possibly know where he is? With the help of Steve and his friends, there's hope that... Steve. Remember Steve? This is Steve from Reddit. Steve from Reddit's on this. Steve from Reddit is going to solve my girlfriend, wife's mistress murder and the ketchup that she bled all over the floor at my feet. Fucking tragedy. There's hope they'll be spotted soon. We're certainly fa fairly certain he fled the state. The state border is like a wall. It's a motherfucking wall. No one can cross it. But the internet's reach is limitless. Yes. Yes, internet. You, internet, will solve this crime for me. Eventually, he must show his face somewhere. Somewhere, and we'll find him. Thanks again for taking the time to listen. If you can spare a moment, check out these links below. Subscribe and follow. We appreciate every share. You know when it comes. You know you never know when it'll reach that one person who could help. Hopefully, I'll be back to push at you again soon. 
because I'm a pusher. Mm -hmm. Scene cut. Two days later, dot, dot, dot. It feels weird to record this offline, but I can't risk Turner hearing it. And I've come to rely on this outlet. I'm not sure when you'll actually really see this, but it's been two days since my last stream. I hope these don't become legitimate lost tapes. But if someone finds these years later, it's absolutely because I'm dead. <sighs> it's happened. She's out. She's escaped. How the hell does someone escape Max Security Psych Ward in real life? With help for starters, it was Davey, right? It all lines up. It must be him. He's next felon after all. We know how they are. We fir my first instinct was to ship the boys back to Florida. But what if she went there instead? It would be 2,000 miles away, completely useless. Why don't I go too, you ask? Well, that's a great question. What happens when she follows us and it gets my parents killed as well? When I'm finished here, we're going to go to a hotel, though it's only a temporary solution. Because well, I can't afford more than six nights at a hotel because you guys haven't subscribed. I'm still at 14 subscribers. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure why this story and my dead wife isn't bringing in more subscribers. I, I will post the pictures. Don't, I, if, if that's what I have to do to get 13,000 subs, I, I need 13,000 subs so I can buy the car I want. I mean, my wife bled out for this car. Don't you want to see me drive the car? I'll paint it the color of ketchup. I will. For you. All of you. The cheapest place I could allow, that would allow dogs is more than we can afford. And you know, when it comes down to it, the dogs are more important than finding my wife's murderer. If I had to choose between giving up my dogs or finding who killed my wife and seeking vengeance, fuck my wife. The dogs stay. The dogs stay. You're probably thinking I'd leave the dogs. No, I won't. Ever. My wife was disloyal. My dogs are not. But with help from family, we have funds for a week stay. If they don't find Turner before that, I don't know what we're going to do. We'd have to give up the dogs. And we all know where that's going to go. I will not give up those dogs. Ever. I'll be watching the cameras nonstop and some police officers will be inside, hopefully making it look like we're home. Even if they drove us to the hotel so both vehicles would be there. Now, you see why I couldn't record live. Because I'm in a hideout. Is this getting more subs? Am I getting more subs because of this? Because I'm in a hideout? That sounds mysterious, right? Suspicious and like, you know, mystery. Like creepy pasta kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, somebody's writing all this down so we can share this story. Because I, I think there's a site that lets me save all this stuff. So share it to people later. Find it later. Anyone has that bookmark? Just mail it to me. Just put it in chat. Thanks. Why can't this be over? Why can't we grieve in peace? Why do I keep bringing this up on the internet? Why do I keep presenting more and more information about this story? Like I'm finding stuff out and don't have all this information available to me right at the beginning. Hasn't she taken enough? What's the price for not narrating a terrible story? I think that price is peace, silence, solace, serenity. But that's not something I want. I want the chaos, the revelry, the dismissal. All of that. Now subscribe below, please. I'll send her my own ear in a box, all Van Gogh style, if I thought it would appraise her. If two boys weren't depending on me, I would have broken long ago. Sometimes I dream of disappearing into the forest when Connor graduates from college to leave him on his own. Because we all know that children, once they leave to college, don't require parental support anymore. They are free birds to fly among the world. They have been raised with the finest of training and will never, ever need help from another person again. So I, once my child has left for college, am free of the burden of parenthood and will flee a free, free human being to be as I wish I was. End scene. Dash, 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 dash. Three days later. 
Hopefully this is my last non-live recording. It's been three days since the first part. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, feel, feel free to link and share the story. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully it's been three days. It, I'm sorry, three, days like, three days later. <laughs> Hopefully this is my last non-live recording. It's been three days since the first part. They won't share specific details, but the detectives say they have a reliable information that Turner and Richardson are laying low in San Francisco. Now, we have no mention of where I am, and nor will there be, because to reveal that information would bring all kinds of grief upon me. Perhaps I'm in California and been making up this state line thing the whole time. Perhaps I'm in Nevada, just across the border in Reno. Perhaps I'm in Oregon, hiding out by Crater Lake somewhere. You don't know. You'll never know. I could be in Missouri, Massachusetts, Montana, Mississippi, any state starting with an M. There's more. First person that can name the state that starts with M that didn't that I didn't list there in the next 30 seconds can have VIP. Sorry, moving on. Please excuse me while I chuckle at their assurances. But we're at least going to go finish Ring the mentions. week here. Michigan. Ah, too late. Too late. <laughs> too late. You're already VIP anyways. That was it, actually. I would stay the extra nights regardless. But for the record, Steve and his fellow sleuths are less convinced of their whereabouts. They haven't found anything new, but they've already done more than I could ever thank them for. They have clicked on buttons on the internet. They have typed things on the internet. They have looked at pictures. Pictures, I'm telling you, on the internet. The effort put into this investigation had no boundaries, had no limits, as long as it was supplied by beverages and snacks at a desk with a computer access to internet access. There were no limits on this search. They put everything they had into it. Thank you, boys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Carrots are not food. Now, go enjoy your carrot compliments of the queen. Yes, yes, enjoy your carrot. <laughs> In private, please. Thank you. One thing I can rest assured of is that I won't sleep a wink tonight. Each time the police leave, that witch bitch waltzes her crazy back into my life and she just fucking fucks it all the fucking fucking time. Oops, I need to edit that one out. Did I say the F word too many times there? Do we call it the F word anymore? What do we call it now? Frick? Frack? Is that the Battlestar Galactica reference? What? what? Can we just say fuck? What? I, what are, are we editing this? No, we're not. Because I don't know how to edit. I just write creepypastas. Or tell stories about my dead wife bleeding out at my feet with ketchup. The bacteria that grows in it that everybody thinks isn't there but makes you sick and then you blame it on food poisoning. But that's fine. Just another urban legend. Like this story. Jeez, it's easy to get carried away when no one's listening. Really easy. I've never wanted to throat punch a bitch so bad. Fuck. Ugh, muttering. Okay, be serious, man. You can't keep pulling this shit and expect to stay over 10K. 10K subs. Ha, I remember when there was 10K subs. We have 40K now. When I show my wife's dead body on this scene next month at 2 p.m. Thursday, the 2nd, we'll hit 100,000 subs. It'll add a whole new meaning to viral. As opposed to bacterial like the ketchup. Shake it off, fuckface. You got mouths to feed. And work leave only goes so far. Yeah. If I can't quit my job after seeing my wife murdered at my feet, then what's the fucking point, right? Nothing happens, we'll go home in two days. Don't get me wrong. I hope like hell she's in California. But when I have been, would I have been that lucky? Maybe if I kill myself, she'd leave the boys alone. Worth considering, at least. 
Because that's, you know, would that get me subs? But then the subs won't matter. Do I care about the subs, really? Yes, I do. I do. I care about you. My loyal viewers. The people who are going to read this creepypasta someday online and embellish it with all kinds of random information that's not actually in the story. You. You're the ones that matter. The sincerity I'm putting forward right now is more than you can handle. Please subscribe. Anyways, uh, before, I, but I couldn't do that to them. They would never forgive me. They might not forgive me as it is, and I can't blame them. It's my fault their mother is dead. Yeah, I just said that. I admitted that on the internet. It's my fault. And you know why it's my fault? Because I didn't try hard enough. I wasn't a good enough husband. I wasn't a good enough partner. I was upstairs streaming when she was downstairs getting drunk. And I should have been down there getting drunk with her. And then we could both be dead. That's what a real partner would have done. But no. Here I am monopolizing. Here I am monetizing her uh, death. That's, it's the only thing left I could do that felt respectful. The only thing left I could do. End scene. Dash, 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 dash. Four nights later. Good evening, Nightcrawlers. Hi, everyone. Had a chance to listen to the video I posted last night. On the bright side, they're officially not lost tapes. <laughs> I was joking about that. You guys thought I'd ever get killed. What? That's totally making that shit up. Whatever. If you did see them, I'm sorry for forgetting the edits, but you understand why momentarily if you didn't see them. Well, we went to a hotel for a week and the please believe Paige and her goon are in California across the great solid wall of Nevada. That wall that was put there to stop the Nevadians escaping into California during the great pandemic. Oh, remember when all of Nevada was basically wiped out by that disease and California sat there laughing? Oh my God. It was hilarious. Anyhow, that's a different story. I'll have to write that one down and get some photos of the dead people later. Anyhow, moving on. Uh, tonight, I mostly wanted to check in with everyone to say I recorded The Monkey's Paw, the story that this thing started out with. Do you remember that? Do you remember that at the beginning of the story? I bet you don't. I bet you don't. I bet you no one remembers that because the story has been so convoluted and winding that I'm having a hard time as the narrator keeping track of all the events. Does anyone remember who Steve is? Who's Steve? chat does anyone remember who steve is tell me who steve is please anyone anyone who's steve there is a steve in the story does anyone know who steve is ren mentions steve from reddit yes yeah, steve is from reddit ren it's good i it's good to see that in chat we at least have some loyal followers who are following along with the story it's good to see it's good to see someday those eighty thousand subs did i say 10,000 subs with 80,000? 80,000 for the house, right? Was it 10,000 for the car? Yeah. Everyone wants to see me in a car in a house. You want pictures? My Instagram demands those photos of me in a nice car in a nice house. Without those subs, you can't have that. You can't have that without those subs. And you want that for me. I know you do. Michelle It'll be up in a few mentions. I wasn't sure if you were still reading the story or actually asking us. It's interactive, Michelle, the whole thing. It's all interactive. I'd say 70% of what I've been reading so far has not been in the story. <laughs> It'll be up in a few hours. The wait's over. I also want to share a little surprise we received in the mail today. There's just so many bills and condolence cards piling up. I was ripping stuff open without looking when I found an old-fashioned ransom note. The letter spelled, stay tuned. You know what I mean? Like one of those letters with like the sticky letter. Somebody cut it off a magazine. And they left to put the sticky letters on there. And it like looks like comically like a ransom letter. And then when you go to the murderer's house later on, you find the magazine Michelle with all the letters the cut out of it. Mentions, Wait, 70% doll thing. Mm-hmm. And you go to their house and you find the magazine. And there's holes in the magazine all over and you're not quite sure if this is the right person, but then you match up all the letters to the missing holes and yet they are still found innocent because it could be a coincidence that they just cut those letters out. You can't just arrest someone for evidence, you know, ever. Like my wife's murderer. 
who stood out in the driveway with a semi-automatic rifle and just filled my house full of bullets and then drove away on a dirt bike and got away in the middle of suburbia somehow on a dirt bike. You know, those loud roaring chainsaws that are called transportation. Stealthy like a ninja. Yep. Assassins over the, all over the globe use dirt bikes as their getaway vehicle for the stealthiness of them. Pull the trigger, one tap, hop on that dirt bike, and you are gone into the night like a shadow. It only requires the entire population of the area you're in to be deaf. And that's not that type of requirement, I think, when it comes down to it. There's many enclaves of deaf people that dirt bikes are useful escape vehicles for. Don't be writing them off. Remember, dirt bikes are useful for escape vehicles. There was nothing else with it. I called the police right away. They confirmed it was mailed from San Francisco, which validates our earlier theory. She's across the great Reno, Nevada wall. Oh, it looks like we, maybe we're getting a new sub. Should I, um, is my, is my, is, did I mention my wife's corpse and the blood? The ketchup blood? Is that, is that lured someone in? Well, welcome, Dr. Dom. Welcome. Welcome to a tale of horror and shredded hearts. Yes, you are here behind a wall of icons and emotes. Good to see you. Hopefully, Dr. Don will subscribe and donate as we've required in this story that to buy my house and my vehicle with, for without those, there will be no Instagram. And with no Instagram, there's no me. And with no me, there's no happiness for you. Even if she is in California, that doesn't mean she plans to stay there. Sooner or later, she's going to come back. And we aren't capable of hiding indefinitely. Nor are we capable of defending ourselves from this lunatic. But we're not quite sure is. Is, is this woman the individual who's in the driveway shooting the gun? Because I believe that was not uh, the... Unless the name was like Dave or something. I, even as the narrator of this story, it is complex beyond comprehension. A woman is in California. A motorcycle driver has gunned my wife down. How are they connected? Why is she in an insane asylum? Where's the guy from the motorcycle? Was it a guy on the motorcycle or was it a woman on the motorcycle? None of, we don't know any of this. All we know is that dirt bikes are good escape vehicles and that ketchup has bacteria that will make you food sick. Sooner or later, she's going to come back and we aren't capable of fighting. She probably intends to make her little stories into a trilogy, but I guess we'll have to stay tuned as she put on the note to find out. Tell you what, though, if she does send a new story, I'm going to read every motherfucking word. Yeah. Every word. Because you know what that story is going to say in it? It's going to be everything about what I just told you here. Except it might be coherent, well-structured, chronologically ordered. You know? But that would make it a story as opposed to just a creepypasta. Or a podcast. Or a Twitch stream. Whatever the hell this thing is anymore. I don't know. Anyhow, for all of you that are here now, I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. I'll push you later because I am a pusher. What it says, I'm reading it like it is. End scene. Dash, dash. Okay. I'm, uh, Nina back here for a well, second, everyone. Hi. Medic part. Uh, I'm hopping out for uh, hopping out the story for a second. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for the raid. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, we're, I'm just reading. Uh, I'm actually playing Chrono Cross and uh, I'm just taking a break. Uh, one, uh, Michelle asked me to read a creepypasta. And so um, I couldn't find 